there are some incredible Webflow plugins that you might not have ever heard of before. And these are going to save you a ton of time and they're going to double your efficiency, making you a better Webflow developer. Now, some of these show up right inside the Webflow designer and some of them are integrated via code or other methods. But we're gonna cover all of these in this video to show you the best ones that you should be using starting today. So let's dive into it. So the first plugin that I wanna talk about is Superflow. And this is one that I found just recently and it is incredible. This has everything that you need to handle the whole process of revisions, feedback between your team and your clients to get websites to the point where they're ready to launch. Now, if you've worked with clients before, you know that the revision process can be really time consuming, especially if you're doing it through email. So by using Superflow, you're gonna be able just to speed up this process and make it much, much easier. Now, this is found inside the Webflow apps library. I'll put a link down below and you can add this to your site and be up and running. All it takes is a copy and paste of a little snippet of code and you're good to go. And then this is going to pull up right here in the bottom right corner of your live Webflow website. And then all you have to do is click down here to either leave comments on specific elements. And I really do like this because it shows the individual elements from your Webflow site. You can click that, you can leave a comment, you can save it, and then other people in your teams are going to be able to see this, track this, comment on it, um, update whether it's in progress or resolved and then they're gonna be able to move to the next things. The other thing that I really like in this plugin is that you're able to record either audio, uh, your camera, or just a screen recording and attach that to your different bits of feedback. So if you're looking for a really great tool that integrates with Webflow to manage the whole feedback and revisions process, Superflow is perfect for you. The next one that I wanna talk about is No Code Lytics. And this again can be found inside the Webflow apps library. And this is everything that you need to track the analytics within your Webflow site. So very similar to the first one that we talked about, this integrates pretty seamlessly by just copy and pasting a snippet of code. And again, this is going to help you, like it says here, increase engagement, understand what's being clicked, where what pages your users are going to, and by seeing this behavior, you're going to be able to make adjustments to your website, both design and, and user experience, and help improve your website. So once you sign up for No Code Lytics, it's going to take you through this type of process where it asks you what you want to track, whether that's just general searches or page views, or whether you want to track specific forms or pages. And so once you walk through this, it's going to create your dashboard and allow you to track these things inside the No Code Lytics dashboard. And so again, a really seamless integration into Webflow. So if you're looking for a really user-friendly analytics solution, No Code Lytics is perfect. All right, so the next one that I wanna talk about is very near and dear to my heart because this is one that I created with my team and this is SEMflow. This is the one and only SEO plugin for Webflow. And as you can see down here, it basically takes you through the entire on-page site optimization from scoring your site with a really accurate SEO score, showing you the rankings of all your individual pages, and it's going to walk you through every individual ranking factor and element that you need to update in order to rank your site on Google. Now, this is a really clean interface that works right inside of Webflow. So you can see over here, it's going to pop up right on your left dashboard or your left toolbar. And as you open that, it's going to run your audit, show all of your static and CMS pages. And aside from all of the elements here, you can also save a keyword to optimize each page for a specific keyword. And you can also see your page speed insights, which is going to allow you to just see the overall performance and user experience of your website. So this is a really awesome tool, whether you're really advanced in SEO or just getting started, this is going to walk you through the entire process. So if you're interested in optimizing your site and getting it ranking on Google and other search engines, SEMflow is a perfect fit for you. Now, very similar to SEMflow, the other ones that I wanna talk about are of course FinSuite, which is probably the most widely known uh, Webflow extension. It's a Chrome extension that just pops up right up here in the top of your browser. And then it's going to give you all of these goodies right here inside of the Webflow designer. So you can basically change everything that you wish you could in Webflow natively, but that they don't have that feature yet. FinSuite allows you to do this. So 301 bulk redirects, you can erase larger breakpoints, you can readjust color swatches 
and anything else inside of your Webflow designer interface. Um, it also gives you a lot of additional custom code uh, capabilities. And so if you're looking for even the smallest, most obscure functionality that Webflow doesn't offer, there's a very good chance that FinSuite's Chrome extension. Now over here on the left, you can see I've also got two additional extensions. There is the Flowbase extension and there is the Reloom extension. So both of these are basically copy and paste design layouts that you can pull from these extensions and plug them right into your Webflow site. So from my experience, Flowbase has the better interface in terms of working right inside of Webflow. But with that said, my team actually uses Reloom because the components library is just so incredible. So you can see here, you're able to use any of these. Let's say we want a feature section. You can pull this up, you can copy and paste, and then plug that right into your Webflow site. Now in terms of Flowbase, they do have some additional things like icon sets, and it's a lot easier to pull it over from that extension. So if you're looking for a copy and paste type solution, to just speed up your development process inside of Webflow, either Flowbase or Reloom are going to be a really great fit. Just note that Reloom's Chrome extension doesn't really have anything inside the extension other than links to their products. And so you're going to have to go to their actual website to copy and paste those elements. But these are both fantastic development tools that are going to easily cut your development time in half. So those are my six favorite Webflow plugins, but if I missed any, please drop them down in the comments and I'll make sure that I check them out and maybe do a review video on them down the road. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how SEMflow works to help you with your SEO inside of Webflow, you can click this video right up here for a full walkthrough. And if you liked this video, please hit that like button down below. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much and we'll catch you in the next video.